Yes, I was seven years old. My mama said, go and make yourself some friends or you'll be lonely. Once I was seven years old. It was a big, big world, and we thought we were bigger, pushing each other to the limits. We were growing quicker by eleven, smoking herb and burning, churning liquor. Never rich, so we were out to make the steady figure. Once I was eleven years old, my daddy said, Go and get yourself a wife, or you'll be lonely. Once I was eleven years old. Cool. This is going to be a lesson for Seven Years by Lucas Graham. Uh, this is a song that reminds me of the songs I learned when I was first starting on a guitar. And that's a big compliment to this song. It uses only a few chords, three or four for the most part. And uh, there's also a sort of memorable but also simple to play little riff here. So I'm going to show you how to do all that, and I think it's uh, I think that this is a this is a good one, especially for for those starting out. And if you're if you're also a bit more far along, there's some cool stuff you can do with sort of um, you know messing with the dynamics and having fun with it. So let's get started with the lesson. All right, um, tabs for everything I'm about to show you, you can find on my website songnotes.cc. Check the link in the description. Everything is there. Um, but otherwise, let's get to it. So right off the bat, uh, capo on the third fret. Okay. So that'll let you play along with the record if you want to. But um, we're going to jump right in. Let's start right away with this little riff, this little walk down. So basically what I'm talking about is this. Okay. What this leads to is... Okay. I'm not playing any chords yet. But... This is a good fun thing to start with, especially if you're starting out in guitar. It's only on two strings, and you're only on playing up on the second and third fret. So it's very contained. You're not doing a lot, you're not moving your hand, you're not doing lots of different positions and different fingerings. So that's really nice. Basically, study this chart, this little tab chart right here. Basically, you're going third, second, open, and then third, open. Okay? Again. Pretty straightforward. And then after you do that, you're gonna stay on that second string and just go back to that third third fret note right there. So I encourage you to memorize this if you can, because it's gonna make practicing it easy. You're not gonna get it at first, it's gonna take a while. Come back to it, you know, a few times a day, a few minutes here and there, um, you know, day by day. You'll get better at it, you'll notice. Um, and also have fun when you're practicing in the sense that you don't feel like you have to play it at the same pace as you hear it in the song. You can also play it faster. You can go down and up. You can play like each note a couple times. That kind of stuff is going to get it, kind of get you comfortable and, and really just um, you know help it sort of ingrain in your mind quicker. So that's the that's the sort of riff. So again, what you want to practice after you get that riff, you know, after you get comfortable with this walk down riff, you want to practice these three chords and end on that B string on that second string, okay? Because what that lets you do is easily, with either your pinky or your ring finger, it lets you go like this. Got it? So basically, um, with the intro, Riff and with those chords, you have most of the intro there. Okay, so for the verse and the chorus of this song, I want to talk about the chords you're going to need. And this is a bit more full strummy, right? Now, four measures here. Each measure has four counts. At the sort of the core foundation of the, the chord progression that you're going to use for pretty much the entire song, except for the, the end, the bridge, 60 years old, or some funky stuff going on. But for everything else, you're going to use sort of this this is the core of your progression. 
the core of it. Okay, it's E minor for four counts, um, and then you're gonna have B G for four counts. Then you're gonna have C for eight counts. So what that what that would sound like? I'm gonna do all down strums for right now. It's oh, when I was seven years old, my daddy told me. I messed up the words, but I'll keep singing. So it's E minor for four counts, G for four counts, and then C. Okay. Now, once you get that, let's take this a step further. And the step further is the last two counts of this entire 16 counts is you're going to have a D in the last two counts. So it's E minor to G to C to three, four, one, two, D. Okay, so you're gonna, it's a pretty, it's kind of a quick change because you're not on D terribly long, but it definitely helps sort of transition each sequence of these 16 beats into the, you know, resets it and brings it back. Now, after you get that down, there's one more thing I want to teach you, which is kind of an important part for capturing the sound of this, is on this third beat of um, the whole sequence. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. What I did there is I went, I sort of transitioned from the C minor up to the G. I did that by means of, um, you could say it's a D over F sharp. So D is usually played like this. But you can also play it um, over with the F sharp as a bass. And that's really effective if you want to transition from going Um, and what you're getting there as you go from an E minor to a D over F sharp to a G is you get this rising bass note. You hear that? Okay, so in the song what that sounds like is Once I was seven years old, my mama told Seven years old. Okay, um, but this progression is going to be used for the whole, for pretty much again the whole song. So it's good to know about that walk up. Here's some cool ways to play it. Check this out. One way to do it is so E minor. Just do a full strum. What I'm doing there is one finger on the second fret of this low E string before I do my G. So. Um, that's a sort of simple way to do it. Another way I like to do it is I'm only playing the bottom four or five strings, but I play the E minor. Then I play this second, open, open, second. For, this is for the D over F sharp. And then I go to the G. I'm only playing the bottom five strings of the G. But what this sounds like if you go... It's a really nice... You just hear the whole thing walking up as one. So it's kind of a cool thing. And as you get more strummy, what you can do is if you want to mess with this F sharp bass note, I use my thumb to do it, and basically, again. Now, if you can't get your thumb on this F sharp thing and you don't want to mess with this whole walk up at all, if you want to practice doing the D though, you can. You can do one side was seven years old, my mama sold me. Okay, so I'm not even messing with the bass note there. So um, again, that walk up, it's not totally fundamental to getting the song sound to sort of shine through, but it definitely helps. Okay, strumming pattern. Um, I'm not necessarily keen on a single strumming pattern for the entire song. I recommend you actually experiment with some lighter stuff at the lighter parts and some more heavier stuff at the heavier parts. Um, I think a light version could be down, 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 up, down. Down, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down. So I'll play the progression. Great, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I wanna keep this pretty short, so have at that. I hope that helps. Rewatch this video, look at the tabs on my website if that helps, and uh, 
I hope I hope this is helpful for learning this song. If you do like the songwriting in this song and you don't know Cats in the Cradle and you don't know The Circle Game by Joni Mitchell, um, Cats in the Cradle is by Harry Chapin Jr., I think. Check out those songs because they have a very similar um, verse sort of lyrical structure where they're talking about a character growing older and looking forward and backward at life. Um, those songs take slightly different slants, but I think this song... I think stands up to that sort of genre of, of, of good songwriting. And I think it's, it's kind of cool to have a contemporary version of that. But I uh, hope this was helpful. Again, check out my stuff online, David Potts. Um, it's been fun learning this song. Play it yourself, have fun, and grow to 60 years and beyond. Take care. Bye-bye.